show them, not tell them, and then tell them that they may or may not be interested. So you take the pressure off them because if they, if they feel pressured, they're trying to defend themselves. They're not listening to what you're showing them. If you say you may or may not be interested, you basically are giving them permission to say no. Now they're more relaxed. They listen to you better. And anybody who listens to this and doesn't get it, don't waste your time. Amateurs, I mean, professional sort, amateurs convince. If you got to convince somebody to do this, you just need to be talking to somebody else. He says, ask them if they have about 15 minutes. Tell them there's something important you want to show them. Tell them they may or may not be interested. Do two presentations a day and attend a weekly meeting. And I said, Dave, I don't know how to do a presentation. I'm brand new. He said, then do two a day. And I said, well, what if I make mistakes? He said, the people you're talking to won't know if you're making a mistake or not because they don't even know about it. You're, whatever you're saying is what they're listening to. And I said, well, what if I make a mistake? He said, Larry, if you do two a day in 30 days, you'll have done 60 presentations and you'll have mastered this presentation. This is before we had videos, before we had Zoom, before we had any of this stuff, right? We had to literally, I mean, when I was living in Orange County, Orange County California, Southern California, I remember scheduling appointments with people up in L.A., and even though it's like 38 miles or something, it's a two-hour trip because of traffic. And I remember scheduling appointments to drive up to SoCat to L.A. to meet people at Starbucks who would not show up. And, man, that drive back, thank God for Jim Rohn, because he kept me inspired all the way back when I drove all the way up there and the guys never showed up, didn't have the decency to call me back and tell me they weren't coming so you're going to face those kind of challenges. But those are all mind games, right? Those don't mean anything. You're not going to let somebody else make your financial decision anymore. And so, you know, when, when I, I turned 71 in August, this last August. And we've been in Phoenix for 16 years. And, and, and my, my, my youngest daughter just had two more kids. And we wanted to be close to our grandkids. And now we got six of our grandkids within a half an hour of us. We decided to move back to Texas. We bought this beautiful 40-foot RV back in January of 21 because we love to travel. And we turned around and, and, and came down here and spent about three months in an RV park looking for land and stuff and, and find a place where we could be quiet, be away from everybody. We found a house that was built in the 80s that will be finished. The remodel will be finished the 27th of this month, we're about 12, 14 days away from moving into our house. We're still living in our RV, as you can see, um, we, but it's a, it's a nice RV. But we've been living in an RV for, <coughs> excuse me, almost two years full time. While we've been looking for land, <coughs> excuse me, trying to decide where we wanted to live and make sure that we got around our kids. Because as you get older, your values and everything else changes, right? So we found this place. And it came with 12 acres. Now, all my Southern California friends are going to get really mad at me for a second. But I bought a 3,100-square-foot house on 12 acres with a pond, which I made the pond way bigger. It's got a shop. It's got a horse barn. It had goats on it and everything else. 12 acres in a little town called Birthright, Texas, where the population is 40. 40, Southern California. Four zero, right? That's how many people. We know all the neighbors, right? We know them all. So... It's population 40, and we bought 12 acres in this 3,100-square-foot house for $327,500. And we decided that we just wanted a little bit more. So about two months ago, I bought my next-door neighbor's place, which is about a 1,500-square-foot house and 13 more acres. So now we got 25 acres. I bought that for two thirty-five dollars SoCal, $235,000, 1,450-square-foot house, 13 acres with the pond on it as well. And so now we have 25 acres with a couple of ponds and, and we bought my wife a golf cart. She can drive back and forth between the property. And I've got a zero turn Kubota and a 38 horsepower tractor that I ride and go out and mow and stuff. And I'm having the time of my life because money is not something I even have to think about. And I want to read some lyrics from a song that every time I hear, I literally cry anymore because of what the words are. I'm not going to read you all of it. I'm just going to read you part of it. It's from uh, Jordan Davis and Luke Bryan. It's called By Dirt, right? Uh, it says a few days before he turned third, uh, turned 80, he was sitting out back in a rocker. He said, what you been up to lately? And I told him chasing a dollar. 
And in between sips of coffee, he poured this wisdom out, said, if you want my two cents on making a dollar count, buy dirt. Find the one you can't live without. Get a ring, let your knee hit the ground. Do what you love, but call it work. And throw a little money in the plate at church. Send your prayers up and your roots down deep. Add a few limbs to your family tree. And watch their pencil marks and the grass in the yard all grow up. Because the truth about it is, it all goes by real quick. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy dirt. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what I do know. Time passes. It wasn't that long ago I was you all's age. And I'm not old at 71 because I'm going to live to 103. I got a long time to go. But I can tell you that I'm having more fun in my life than I ever dreamed was even possible because of this opportunity. And I'll never forget 1999. A lot of you all were familiar with Woody Alexander. He was one of our first millionaires in the company, lived in L.A. and uh, the L.A. area. And it was our first millionaires, and we lost him to cancer in 1999. And I'll never forget at the International Convention in 1999 when they rolled him out in his wheelchair on the stage, and he said, you better get serious about your business. He said, because life will hit you right between the eyes when you least expect it, and you're going to wish you had built a lot stronger, a lot harder, and a lot more committed so that you can enjoy the life that you want to enjoy. And my, my message to you tonight is really just that. It's time for everybody in this business to get serious. I mean, listen, one of the beautiful things about our company is it's 50 years old. I mean, 99% of network marketing companies never see that birth date, right? We're 50 years old. We'll be here beyond all of your lifetimes. But that's, a, that's also a weakness is that we'll, we all know we'll be here another 50 years, 100 years, way beyond our lifetime, so there's no sense of urgency. I can tell you right now, we have, you know, when Stone Point Capital invested $1.2 billion, not million, billion dollars in our company in May of 2018, I can tell you they saw what all the veterans see. They know we haven't, as our founder used to say, we haven't scratched the scratch and it's time for us to all get serious. They are sitting there with all the cash that we would ever imagine. They want to invest in us. What you just saw in the compensation plan is one example of the many things they are doing to make this company better than it's ever been. But it's never been better than it is right now, with the exception of having our founder still alive, Mr. Stonecipher. That would be the only thing that would make this better. But I'm going to encourage you all, get serious about this. Have fun. Absolutely have fun. I'm having a ball. But don't let time slip through your fingers because time passes way too quick. And all of a sudden, you're going to be 60 and 65 and 70. And you're going to be going like, oh, my gosh, I should have done this. I should have done more than this when I was younger so I can have all that residual income. And when you wake up. And you have over a half a million dollars a year coming to your bank account, whether you get out of bed or not, because of what you've built, it's a different way of life. And be smart with your money. Learn how to invest and invest right and get multiple streams of income. You know, a lot of people thought multiple streams of income means you had to have 15 different businesses. I've only got one business, and that's my Legal Shield business. But I've got multiple streams of income because I've invested the money into assets that spin off cash flow to us. And just be wise. But right now, it's time to build your bank account like you've never built it before. And my message to you all tonight is really simple. It's time to build. It's time to go. It's time to grow. I want to see you all have more success. And I know there's a lot of success stories out there. But I want to see you all have more success than you ever had and that you ever dreamed you could have. Make two a day a reality in your business. Listen. If I told you that I would hire you and pay you $100,000 a year, $8,333 per month, and all you had to do was do two presentations a day, whether somebody said yes or no didn't matter, if I paid you $100,000 to do two presentations a day, I could line up people all day long in SoCal that would do that. They'd go work for half an hour and make $100,000 a year. Don't 
underestimate the power of two a day. Too many people say, well, me doing two a day, it'll take forever. Yeah, if you were the only one doing two a day, it probably would. But if you had you and nine more people on your team, that's a total of 10 of you doing two a day. What's 10 times 20? It's 200, right? What? I mean, uh, tw- t- t- sorry, 10 times two is 20. 20 presentations a day being done by you and your team times 30 days is 600 presentations being done. And if only 10% got in, you've got 720 new business partners every year compounding exponentially. And literally in three to five years, you'd never have to think about the word money ever again. But don't wait three to five years to get started. Now's the time. Your commitment your business, nobody can lead but you. If you turn around and you think you're leading and you turn around and nobody is following you, you're just taking a walk. Learn how to lead. In closing, Michael, part of the reason I love being a part of these Zooms and stuff and part of these live events is because just like you all are journaling, so am I. My big nugget tonight, get your kids out of daycare and get them back into your care. I love that. Thanks for the tip. Thanks for having me out tonight. God bless you all. I appreciate you having me. Let's go make this the biggest company out there and create more success stories than we've ever seen or heard of. Thank you all for having me. Thanks, Larry. Real quick, everybody, before uh, Mr. Uh, Smith takes off, let's go ahead and uh, unmute yourselves real quickly, and uh, let's just hear for uh, Mr. Smith for pouring into us here tonight. He's uh, give him a round of applause. Yes! 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 Thank you, Mr. Smith. Yes! 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 Up the mic. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank I'm you. moving next to you, Mr. Smith. Stuff, I'm coming. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, I'm getting oh, my yeah, acres get next busy. to you. I'm serious. I'm but, negotiating 18 more behind us right now. Oh, oh my oh. gosh, congratulations. I got to hurry to get there so I can be a close neighbor. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all very much. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Larry Smith awesome. for CEO. Okay. Take, take care. Good night. Appreciate you, sir. Good night. Love to Donnie. All right, everyone. So he's jumped off. We're going to get into some recognition. But, uh, you know, just real talk. Uh, man, I have a, a long list of just notes that I'm typing away here on my computer. And I love every single time that uh, Mr. Smith, I mean, he just, I mean, he expands my mind in regards to what we're a part of, expands my mind in regards to the dreams, expands my mind in regards to what I need to focus on. And uh, that's just what I needed. I don't know about you, but that's just what I needed. And it's, it's time to rock. Like, <laughs> and I just want to get off the Zoom already and just get to work. But uh, Seriously. let's get, let's get uh, into a little bit of recognition. And let's just do one of uh, the questions of the week and get into a, a Zoom. Because really uh, connecting with each other individually and talking to each other, uh, that really is a major part of what we do here on Tuesdays. Uh, so let's do this real quickly. Uh, if it is your first time here, we want to welcome you. Go to put first time in the chat. If it is your first time here, go to put first time. We want to recognize you. If you invited a guest to the event tonight, go to write invited in the chat. If you invited a guest, even just just did it physically invited someone or sent a message to someone, go to put that in the chat. If you actually brought a guest tonight and actually showed up, go to put guest in the chat. We want to recognize you. So invited if you invited someone, and then guest if you actually had a guest. Uh, Natalie, congratulations, invited someone. Kathy invited someone. Marilyn Denny invited someone. Uh, Nora Mia invited someone. Robin and Michelle invited. Sanella invited. Angelia invited. Uh, Jody uh, invited and has a new associate. Eileen, uh, welcome the new teammates. Marsha invited someone. Congratulations. Benoit, congratulations. First time here. So glad to have you. Uh, Arissa Molino invited, uh, Benoit and Alfred, and first time here, they signed up tonight as an associate. Congratulations on getting started. Uh, on the iPhone, invited, Georgia Cannon and Eileen invited, and the guest showed up. Congratulations. Natalie is saying welcome to the family. Joan invited four people to the event tonight. Georgia invited. Congratulations, everybody. That's a lot of invitations and guests here tonight, and people getting started also. If you enrolled a new member this week, in the chat, go to put member. So if you enrolled a new member, whether it's an individual, a family, or maybe a business, go to put in a member in the chat. We want to recognize you. If you sponsored, recruited a brand new associate, 
go ahead and uh, put recruited in uh, the chat uh, and then put the number if you recruited one or maybe recruited a couple. Go ahead and put that in the chat, recruited or associate. Uh, looks like Sanella. We have Paul and Chris Miller, a new member. Monica, Georgia Cannon, Eileen, three memberships. Arissa Molino, two members and recruited a, uh, a new associate. Paul and Chris Miller recruited an associate. Robin and Michelle, three members. Marsha, a new member. Uh, Gary Rafe, two members uh, in Ontario. Uh, Edwin Davis, a new member. Natalie says, mega congratulations to everybody. Jody, one member who is an associate. So congratulations. Good stuff. Next, if anybody rank advance, go ahead and put rank advance uh, in uh, the uh, chat. Uh, and if there's anybody who rank advance in the past week or so here, uh, we're going to ask that we hear from you. So go ahead and put rank advance in the chat. Next, put PCQ. If you performance points qualified for the month already, put PCQ. If you're PC Pro already for the month, go to put PC Pro in the chat. We'd love to recognize you. Uh, Sua rank advance. Is Sua on the line right now? If Sua, if you're on the line right now, unmute yourself. We'd love to hear from you. Paul and Chris Miller, PC Pro. Sanella, PCQ. Gary Brace, PC Pro. Gary, congratulations. Uh, Sua, Next up on the call. <laughs> yes, and uh, if I'm mispronouncing your name, I apologize. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, give a shout out to the people who sponsored you and let us know uh, how you got your rank advancement. Well, Michelle and Robin, they sponsored me, and I'm sorry I'm driving, so I okay. had my camera off. Um, and then I just was working really hard to try to make the bonuses. Um, mostly it was family and friends, so. That's, how, that's what I did. I just kind of got the low-hanging low fruit now. That's awesome. <laughs> that's how you do it. And pronounce your first name for us. Sewa. Sewa. All right. Yes. Let's give it, give it up for Sewa, everybody. Give her a round of applause. Show her some love in the chat. And uh, congratulations, Robin, for being a great sponsor. And uh, drive safely. We're so glad that you're here, even if you're driving. Glad you're here. Thank you. All right, a few more. Uh, so we got Javon and Dominique Edwards, PCQ, 145 months. Marilyn Denny, 112 months. Clark Burton, PC Pro. Katie Karcher, 148 months. Georgia Cannon, Eileen, 254 months. Congratulations, everybody. Good stuff. And Robin and Michelle, 100.